Breaking White House gets new communications director. Hello, folks. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times, and today we have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of Fox News Politics, and it says Hope Hicks, one of President Trump's closest aides since before the start of his presidency, uh, has officially been tapped as White House Communications Director. Hicks was named to the post on an interim basis in August when Anthony Scaramucci left the job. Hicks, 28, is a loyalist to the president and was also one of the first staffers on the Trump presidential campaign. In the past, she has worked for the Trump Organization, where she took on several ventures, including projects with Ivanka Trump. A senior White House official told Fox News, quote, Ms. Hicks has the credibility, leadership, and respect from everyone in the West Wing and in a very short order, has helped the communications operation enormously. The Trump White House now has three women in major roles in the communications and press corps positions. Along with Hicks, Sarah Sanders is the press secretary, and Stephanie Grissom is the communications director for the First Lady, Melania Trump. Last week on ABC's The View, Sarah Sanders, the press secretary, said that Trump was empowering women by placing them in top brass roles at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Sarah Sanders said, quote, we have a uh, I'm sorry. She said, quote, we have never had a female press secretary and a female communications director at the same time ever in the history of the White House. And we do in this one. It says that Hicks initially was reluctant to take on the communication director role, but is a favorite aide to the president and the first family and has the respect of the White House staff. Ivanka Trump just tweeted moments ago, folks, congrats to my talented friend and colleague, Hope Hicks, on being named White House communications director. I know she will do an amazing job. So yeah, folks, Hope Hicks, um, she's been on the spotlight for a while now. Um, you know, she's always at the press briefings. She was the interim uh, communications director after Scaramucci left. And a lot of people do respect her. A lot of people do take her into consideration on everything that goes on when it comes to, you know, the press briefings, communication, stuff like that. She has the respect of a lot of people. A lot of people like her and respect her, and she is a Trump loyalist, folks. She will not betray the president, and she'll try to do her best to make sure the president, uh, his message get, gets sent across. So I think that she they did a very good job by putting her as the new communications director, and I think I'm 100% sure that this is going to be permanent, at least for the first term of President Trump. So now we have... Sarah Sanders as a press secretary and Hope Hicks as a communications director. And I think they're going to do a very good job. It's a, it seems to be a very good team. Um, and a lot of people are very happy. So this is good all the way around. Um, I, I'm actually happy that they put in a President Trump loyalist, a Trump loyalist, because it's a very important thing, especially right now, that there are some infiltrators within the White House that need to be pushed out. But the good thing is that we do have some people that are Trump loyalists in there, uh, along with uh, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders, where sh she is a Trump loyalist, too. So let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you guys agree with uh, <laughs> with all the people in the White House saying that President Trump did a very good job by putting her as a new communications director, give this video a thumbs up. And let us know what you guys think. Do you guys think it was a good idea putting her in? Do you think she's going to do good in the job? Um, do you know anything about Hope Hicks? Have you ever heard of Hope, uh, Hope Hicks? Let us know in the comments section below. Uh, today, there is going to be a press briefing where they're going to introduce Hope Hicks to the press corps. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you are new so, so you can get the notification when we go live. Also, click the bell right next to it and uh, make sure to stay tuned here at Golden State Times because there's also going to be a State Department briefing right after that. So 
two live streams back to back here at Golden State Times. Thank you very much for joining us. If you guys missed any of your previous videos, they should be coming up on your screen. Like I said, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can get a heads up and when we go live. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Jen and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.